You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett Land, all of my friends around the world. Ooh, y'all, it's a cold. <laughs> It is a cold day here in Gwinnett. Just cold, cold, cold. Right now it's 39 degrees, going up to a high of 55. Starting to feel a little bit like winter. Yeah, it's going to be cold tonight, y'all. It's going to be cold. Like, I think Sunday and and Monday of next week are supposed to be our best. Like, next week is supposed to be nice. This week is going to be kind of, you know, like 55 today, 57, 60, 69. But it's going to be cold at night. Like tonight, it's expected to be 29 degrees. It's going to be cold. So, yeah, that's that's cold, y'all. That is cold, cold, cold. But anyway, beautiful day here in Gwinnett County. Nonetheless, even though it's 39 degrees, it's still beautiful. Because you know why? We woke up this morning. We woke up this morning. We woke up this morning. Today is November the 1st, Wednesday hump day, November the 1st. You have made it to the middle, baby. You are almost there. It is almost a weekend for you. Yes, it is. <sighs> Can can y'all believe it's like 61, 62 days away from 2024? Like, that sounds crazy. I feel like it was just January. It's, it's about to be January again. It's nuts. Time just be flying through. And it, it puts me in, a, in an anxious kind of mode because I feel like time is going so fast and I'm running out of it. I know that sounds crazy, but that's how I feel. I don't Listen, don't blame me for how I feel. Anyway, it's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County. Today is November the 1st. It is hump day, so you've made it to the middle. It's also National Cook for Your Pets Day. Okay. Shout out to the people that got pets. National Authors Day, so shout out to all the pen, the penners out there. you author. Shout out to you. I'm an author seven, seven to eight times now. I think I forgot. I've lost count. National Vinegar Day, my favorite to go to when I have cramps. World Vegan Day, All Saints Day, um, Anniversary of the Revolution Day. Antigua Independence Day, Cal and Geoff Day, Coronation Day of His Majesty the King, um, Dr. Uh, D. Hamilton Jackson Day, e- Extra Mile Day, so go that Extra Mile, um, Hi- Hire Hirana, Hirana Day, don't know what that means, International Pet Groomer Appreciation Day, so shout out to all the people that take care of your dogs out there, your, your pets, Carver Chahuth Day, Coop Cut Day, National Advent Calendar Day, National Biologic Coordinators Day, National Brush Day, um, National Calzone Day. That sounds good. That sounds good. National Cinnamon Day, National Deep Fried Clams Day, National Family Literacy Day, National Jaden Day. So shout out to all the people out there with the name Jaden. National Mia Day. Shout out to all the people out there with the name Mia. National Stress Awareness Day. Yes, let's bring some awareness to that. Prime Meridian Day. Um, Alex Wolf's birthday. Happy birthday, Alex. Ashira Ray birthday. Happy birthday. Senate Candles Day. Everybody love candles. Anthony Akitas Day. Birthday. Happy birthday, Anthony. Anthony Ramos Day. Happy birthday. <clears throat> Lose my voice. Coco Chris birthday. Happy birthday, Coco. David Foster's birthday. Happy birthday, David. Gabrielle Bernstein's birthday. Happy birthday, Gabrielle. Um, Jaden Bartels Day. Happy birthday, Jaden. J.L. Samuels Day. Happy birthday, J.L. Jenny McCarthy's Day. Happy birthday, Jenny. Um, JoJo Fletcher's birthday. Happy birthday, JoJo. Miranda Brooks' birthday. Happy birthday, Miranda Brooks. Natalia Tina's birthday. Happy birthday, Natalia. Pim Bagley's birthday. Happy birthday, Pim Bagley. Paige Holland's birthday. Happy birthday, Paige. Sunset Safari's birthday. Happy birthday. These are your national days and birthdays for the day. Um, listen, I got to run to a song. I'll be right back after this song to bring you more of the birth, uh, the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology and Michael Thousand. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. <laughs> Thinking about you day and night Ever since I saw you with your deep blue eyes There was something that I just couldn't deny Something starts to burst in my chest deep inside Why do love like this hurt? Oh my God It feels like, it feels like I'm gone
so I can show you what I'm gonna do. Alone, 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 alone with you, my love. So y'all had to excuse me. I was rushing. You know, that's what happens when you multitask, right? You be doing too many things at one time. That's me this morning. All over the place multitasking. Anyway, welcome back to the show. You're listening to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. I'm your host, Audrey Bell Kearney. We're about to get on with these horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Michael Thyssen for today, November the 1st. Hump day. Yes, the 1st of November. We, You know what's about to happen now, right? We're about to go into the buying season. <laughs> like, if we haven't been in the... It's going to be interesting, though. Because, um, you know, you get these really grim reports about our economy and recessions and all of these different things. And it's kind of hard not to pay them any attention. But it's going to be interesting to see just how much the spending season is going to is going to spend. Because it's, this this is the time right now. People are getting ready to get their, their Thanksgiving meal together, even though I know we got what 24 days left. Yeah, they're about to start Thanksgiving shopping. And then, of course, you know, every every Walmart and Amazon and Target commercial you ever want to see about Christmas, I'm sure they're going to start today. So it's going to be interesting to see how people spend this year. Are they going to really spend like they like they normally do? Or are they going to be hold, are they going to hold back and kind of be reserved because of where we are? You know, are we really in like dire straits, like they say? Will people spend the way they normally spend? It's going to be interesting. Anyway, let's get on with the rest of the show. We're going to kick this thing off with Aries. You are best not to discuss your personal life with others. You might have a problem juggling your time. Minor accidents are likely if you take risks. All right, listen. Listen, Aries, if you don't want your business out, don't tell nobody. It's really simple. Like, I don't know why people don't. Don't tell anyone. I just got to tell somebody. You didn't tell the wrong person. Now everybody know. Now you want to be mad at that person because you the one let the cat out the bag. They, you told them. You ran the risk the minute you opened your mouth to let them know what was going on in your personal life. Now they know and seven other people know because you know bad news travels really fast. Taurus, do not, try not to lead, lend or borrow money today. You can expect the fur to fly on the home front. Organize your day to avoid setbacks that may ignite temper flare-ups. All right, listen, don't lend, don't borrow. At least try not to. Yeah, because this ain't the time. I just I just said that money is funny right now for a lot of folks. So, you know, here's the thing. I always say this. If you can't afford to lose it, don't lend it. 
because there's a chance that you won't get it back. If they had to borrow it from you in the first place, who's to say they're going to be able to pay you back? I know what their promise is, and I'm sure that's where their hearts are. But who knows? So if you can't afford to lose it, then don't lend it. And if you can't afford to pay it back, then don't borrow it, okay? I know what your heart is saying. I know what your mouth is saying. But deep down in your spirit, if you know that you still have a pile of bills following the money you're about to borrow, and you, you're just not going to be able to pay it back for real, like somebody's going to get left out again. Who is it going to be? The person that you borrowed the money from so you can pay the bill that you didn't pay? So listen, if you can't afford to pay back, don't borrow. If you can't afford to lose, don't lend. That's my theory. Gemini, you can continue to forge ahead if you make a few long distance calls pertinent to this pertinent to closing deal pending deals. You'll be emotional about family matters. Don't let anyone take credit for you, the job that you did. Look, if you did the job, raise your hand. I did that. And here's why. Because if nobody knows what you're doing, how how are they going to recognize and promote you? If you know that you're putting in hard work at your job, Gemini, don't let somebody else take credit for the work you did. I'm not saying be boastful, but you know, you need to let people know this is my work. I put, I put in the time and effort to make this happen. That's why it looks like this is mine Own that because that could, that you not speaking up, but could be standing between you and that promotion that you've been trying to get. Yeah. And somebody else is going to take credit for your work and get the promotion. Oh no, I don't think so. Cancer. Business conducted in your own office will proceed smoothly. Smoothly, if you have if you've taken on a lot of work, be sure to leave some time for yourself and your family. There may be opportunities to attend social functions that are linked to work. All right, yeah. So listen, I know you're doing a lot right now, Cancer, but you got to make some time for family life, right? You got to make some time for yourself and family, because here's what happens: you get burned out. Yeah, you will get burned out. And then the people around you will start to feel neglected and unloved because you're working all the time. That's anybody. If you're working seven days a week, something is something is bound to go wrong. I don't care. And, and, and you may say, I don't know how this happened because you're never there. Because you're so busy working. And I get it. You got to make enemies. I totally get it. But you have to schedule some time for yourself and your family, especially for yourself. Because if you get sick, then what? If you're burned out to the point where you are just ill and you're falling apart, then what? Make some time for yourself. Even if it's not but a, a, a couple of hours a month, you can find time for yourself somewhere. You get a day off from work, right? You don't work You don't work 30 straight days in a row. That day off is your day off. That day off, half is for you, half is for the family. I'm just saying. Leo, travel will also entice you. You may be confused emotionally. Remember to talk, talk to them, not at them. Yeah, listen, don't nobody want you barking at them, Leo. You have a tendency to do that. So we want you to talk to them and not at them. Because when you talk to them, it's like they're a part of the conversation. When you talk at them, it's like you're telling them what to do. It's you, You're running orders. When you talk to them, it's a two-way conversation. Don't just keep talking. I was talking to somebody one day. When I tell you I didn't get a word in, it was like, uh-huh. That's all I got to say. Oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. But I talk to people like that all the time. They just be talking. They just, they don't listen. They just talk, 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 talk. And then when I try to get a word in, they go a little bit louder to shut me down. I'm like, oh my God, like this is a horrible conversation. I'm just saying, Leo, don't do it. Virgo, be sure to take the, take care of the needs of your youngsters. Spend time with friends and relatives. Travel for pleasure. Real estate and joint financial ventures will be profitable. We like to hear that, don't we, Virgo? When it's going to work it out to the best of the good, to the make the money, we love to hear that. So your real estate ventures are going to be profitable. Yeah, we got to have, you need to be diversifying right now. That's what I'm looking at too, how to diversify everything. Um, because, because we don't know what we're living in. We're living in some crazy uncertain times right now. And they talk about the economy. They talk about this. They talk about, my thing is be prepared. Be ready so you ain't got to get ready. So Virgo, the fact that you've made these investments and they're going to be profitable. Now you take them profits and put them somewhere safe. Okay. And listen, the rest of you who have not made those investments, let's see what we can do about that. Speaking of that, there's an event coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. If you want to know how to set, especially entrepreneurs, you want to know how to set up your own 401k, yes, you can do it yourself. You don't have to have a job. You can set up your own 401k if you got a business, a retirement plan, if you got a business, a simple IRA. It's going to happen tomorrow. Mills Over Money is sponsored by the Gwinnett Women's Chamber of Commerce. It's happening tomorrow at the 1818 Club. Go to the GwinnettWomensChamber.com, GwinnettWomensChamber.com to look at the website, check out the events. 
It's free to the Gwinnett Women's members, but it's $5 for non-members. Breakfast is optional. Okay, check it out. GwinnettWomensChamber.com. I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after this song to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thyssen. Stay tuned. <laughs> Take the day to relax and pamper yourself. All right, this is about family and, and love today, love your, of yourself. All right, take some time for yourself, Libra. You work very hard. It's time for you to take a moment for yourself. As a matter of fact, take two. All right? All right. If you want to move forward, uh, if you want to turn your life around. So spend some time reflect, relaxing and reflecting on your life, right? If you want to move forward and turn your life around, you need to take a minute for yourself. Spend some time relaxing and reflecting and then figure out how to turn your life around. You can do it. You can do it. That's what we say at bowling. Like 
We bowl on Thursdays. Anybody that get a split, normally you got to be a, a freaking professional to get that split. Like, yeah. And so when we get a split, right, I be like, man, just to be like, you could do it. Yeah, because most of the time we ain't going to do it. Like, we might even we might not even get a pen. Birds talk about a split. Anyway, Scorpio, you may want to make changes that would turn your entertainment room into a real-life family affair. Um, you should be raising your self-esteem and your confidence in order to promote your work. You are likely to reveal inf information unintentionally. Okay, here's how not to do that. Watch what you're saying. Don't be talking so much till you say that. I've, I've done that before. I've been talking, and sometimes I'm just playing around, but then I say something like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have said that. And I was just joking. Like, I'm, it's one conversation that I wish I could just erase it out of my memory. I was in this, I was in a conversation with somebody, and I said something so stupid. And it was as a joke, though, but the people I was in the room with probably thought she is nuts. And I was joking. And I couldn't take it back because it was out my mouth. That's why I say be careful what you say because once you say it, you cannot take it back. And this particular thing just burned in my memory like forever. And I want to get rid of it. I wish I could just diss that memory altogether. Anyway, just be careful what you say today, Scorpio. Sagittarius, spending too much time talking to friends and relatives could easily turn into a debate that could lead to estrangements. A second chance will result in good luck. Don't be afraid to talk to close friends and or relatives about pressing personal problems. Okay, so Sagittarius, you can share your information. But make sure you share with the close friends or relatives that you know you can trust. The ones that don't tell anything. I have a um I had an uncle. His name was Uncle Bubba. Uncle Bubba, you can go to him and say, so he wouldn't tell you, he wouldn't tell a soul. You would never know that that anybody came to him and said anything. Because he's not going to tell, he wouldn't tell anybody anything. If you say, you ain't have to say to him, don't say nothing. He wasn't going to say nothing. And you know how we know that? Because when he passed away, he had envelopes and um, he had a bag, like a duffel bag full of letters that people had written to him asking for stuff. He never said a word. I'm talking about a duffel bag, y'all. A duffel bag. He never said a word. We never knew until he passed away. But he was that type of person. He was just a good person. When I tell you a good person, that was a good person. Capricorn, do things. Is, am I on Capricorn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Capricorn, do things with children and avoid situations that make you feel as if you've been neglected the ones you love. I told you it's all about family and self today. Real estate investments could be prosperous. Be cautious handling tools, machinery, or dangerous objects. Listen, it's about family and self today. Family, friends, and self. Yes, that's what this. That's what the, that's what the universe is saying. These horoscopes. That's what it's saying. So do things with your children and avoid situations that will make you feel as if you've neglected the one you you love. Take some time, Capricorn. This is what I've been saying for the last fifteen minutes. Take some time. Show the people that you love that you say you love that you love them. You know. I know you're busy. I know you're trying to get, make trying to get to bag. Got to pay the bills the day the first of the month. You got to pay the rent. I get all of that. But them folks need to know you're just as important. And I know keeping a roof over their head is going to be cold at night is important. You, I get that. But they need to understand, especially especially children, that you love them. Even if it's something small, a small, buy a pizza. And sit in the living room on the floor, watch a movie, get a blanket, and have some quack. You would not believe how, how nice that would be for a child. That would be nice for me, hey. A pizza sitting on the couch in the living room watching. I never sit in my living room. The only time I sit in my living room is if somebody visit me. If nobody, and, that, and that's rare. If no one visits me, I never sit in the living room. So that's, but my husband said, hey, I bought some chicken, some pizza. We're going to sit down in the living room on the couch together. And we're going to, you know, get a blanket. We're going to sit and we're going to watch. That would be amazing. Even if we did that with the football game. We're always in, the, when we watch the game, which is a lot, we're in the bedroom. When we eat, most of the time, it's in, I know people don't eat in their bedroom. We do. We we leave the kitchen and come to the bedroom. That, yep. As if we don't have a TV in the living room. Yeah, we do. Aquarius, you can expect sorrow to evolve from the information you discover. You should be promoting your ideas. Find ways to make extra cash. Start making things uh, or re reusing other things rather than buying ready-made stuff. All right, look. Um, I'm sorry to say you can expect sorrow to evolve from information you discover. I'm sorry in advance, Aquarius, whatever that sorrow is going to be. Um, I pray that you meditate on it and pray on it, right? So that you can get through whatever it is. Because whatever it is, it may be painful, but it's not going to last forever. So pray on it, all right? 
On the flip side of that, you should be promoting your ideas. And you know what? Take some of them great ideas that you got and turn them into a business so you can make some extra cash. I'm sure they have great ideas. I have yet to see a really bad, bad idea. Let me tell y'all something. Even if the idea is bad, a strong marketing plan will, will make it a successful something. It may not be a business, but you may make some money. I tell the story all the time about the pet rock. Um, the pet rock was a rock. Do you hear what I'm telling y'all? It was a rock. And someone decided to say it's going to be a pet rock. And they went out and got them some rocks. And they started selling them. And they became people pets. And people bought into it. Now, it didn't last long. It wasn't a business. It was just one of them things. Like one of them just little, what you call it, fad things for a moment. Like the Chia Pets. Fad. I remember I was watching this um, story. I, I read it somewhere. They were tearing down the, the original Brooklyn Bridge in New York. They were tearing that down. So they had all the wood left from the Brooklyn Bridge. So this man called and said, hey, can I get some of that wood? He said, yeah. They said, yeah, sure. So they gave him some of the wood. He chopped the wood up into tiny little pieces, and he sold the wood. As, hey, you can own a piece of the original Brooklyn Bridge. Now, that was that was genius. He made a killing. Because you can sell anything with a good marketing plan, a good gimmick, you know. But it was, you know, what was interesting about that, people that love New York would love a piece of the original Brooklyn Bridge. Right? So he packaged it up in little pieces. I mean, little, chi like, pieces of wood that was about the size of the tip of your finger. Like your pointer. And sold that wood to people. And a little thing with the little, t they have a piece of the original Brooklyn Bridge. Now, that's a story. Here's the thing. It wasn't about the wood. It was about the story behind the wood. Stories are powerful. That's why I'm on here talking to y'all every day. It was the story behind the wood. You know, I think I'm going to use that in my talk. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to use that because it's powerful. So you can sell anything. So I said all that to say, Aquarius, you have something that, um, you have something that, an idea, you could probably turn that into a business and make some extra cash. You probably could. So just think it through. Here's what, what I will say. Make sure it's something that you love and passionate about. I know people are like, oh, you don't need to be. Yeah, you do. Because when, when time get hard and you don't want to get out the bed in the morning, it needs to be something that's going to say, you know what, get up. If it's not your why, it needs to be the business. All right? If you can have a why and and a passion, oh, you you on to something. You are on to something. You got Because you got both. Like, I have both. I have a why and I have a passion. So that gets me up in the morning. That's my driving force. That's what makes me so driven. You got If you have both of those, oh, you, you're good. Now you got to take action. All right? All right. All right, last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces. You should be putting in some overtime. Is that is that right, universe? Electrical problems may be an issue. We're not gonna we, we listen. Pay attention, fish. You might have some electrical problems. Take some change. Take some time to change your house around. I've been trying to do that forever. I just told my husband like I need. I want some new furniture. I want some new curtains. I want a new bedroom bedding. I want to. I want to do that. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. I don't know about you, fish, but I'm in that kind of mood. And I think I'm going to do that before the holidays actually kick in. Change my living room furniture. Change my... I don't have curtains. There's no. There's not one curtain and no, not one window in my house. I'm telling y'all, I'm terrible when it comes to that kind of stuff. Decorating and all that, I'm not good. I am not good with that. But I'm going to change that. I'm going to decorate my house. It's going to be beautiful. It's not decorated. I got stuff in here. That's all I got. My house is not decorated. It's, I have furniture. And my daughter tells me all the time, I have just a hot... The only thing that looks like it match, matches all the way is my office. <laughs> That's why I spend most of my time in this office. So everything is... My office is cool. I love it. It's the... Yeah, it's my space. All right, Fish. Put in some overtime. I put in overtime all the time. Yeah, I do. I was up to 2.30 the other morning, like day before yesterday. Like when I went to sleep, it was 2.30 in the morning, Tuesday morning. And so when the baby called me at 6 o'clock, I was knocked out because I just went to sleep at 2.30. I think I went to bed pretty early last night, though, because I woke up really early. Like, I woke up at 5.15 or something, which that, which leads me to believe I fell asleep early. All right, that's all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Thyssen. Now let's get on to some news you can use. Listen, it's going to be cold tonight, right? So Gwinnett County... Um, they're going to open up the warming stations. So overnight relief, when temperatures reach 35 degrees or below, the warming stations open. Now, here's what you need to know. The warming stations, where they're located. 
Residents who visit the sites will be able to warm up, eat a meal, and get some rest. The warming stations will be available from 6 p.m. to 7 a.m. Here are the locations. Buford Senior Center, located at 2755 Swanee Avenue. It's on the bus route of uh, 101 I-95, stop 19. So if you're going to the Buford Senior Center, Senior Center you're going to catch the bus. You're going to catch bus 101, the I-985 bus, and it stops at stop 19. Again, that's the Buford Center, Senior Center, Center located at 2755 Sawney, Sawney, Sawney Avenue, Sawney, Sawney Avenue, and that's in Buford. Okay, in Duluth, Shorty Howard Paul, Park Activity Building, located at 2750 Pleasant Hill Road. That's on bus route 10B, stop 542 and 108. All right? Again, that's going to be a Shorty Howell Park Activity Building, 2750 Pleasant Hill Road. Bus route 10B, stop 542 and 108. Okay? Norcross, Best Friend Park Gym. These are warming stations, so if you know anybody who's homeless, it's going to get cold tonight, y'all. I don't want to see anybody out on the street. So tell them about these warming stations. Best Friend Park Gym, 6224 Jimmy Carter Boulevard, bus route 35, uh, stop 407 and 906. Again, Best Friend Park Gym, 6224 Jimmy Carter Boulevard, bus route 35, stop 407 and stop 906. Snellville Senior, Senior Center, located at 3025 Bethany Church Road. Lawrenceville Senior Center, located at 225 Benson Street, bus route 40, stop 836 and 337. All right. Again, Lawrenceville Senior Center, located at 225 Benson Street, bus route 40, um, stop 836 and 337. If you have questions and you need some answers, you can call 770-822-8850. Again, that number is 770-822-8850. 770-822-8850. All right. If you know somebody that's homeless, it's going to be cold and they may need a warm place to sleep tonight and a meal. Please point them to one of these, one of these locations because it's going to be cold tonight. You know what I'm saying? So I hate to see people out in the cold. We have these warming stations. This is a great way for them to get a meal and have a warm place to sleep tonight. All right. Again, the warming stations are available from 6, 6 PM to 7 AM. We do have a homeless problem here in Gwinnett County. I know people don't think we do, but we do. And, you know, it's a sad situation. Um, but, you know, I've, I heard people say, I heard someone do an interview, and they said, you know, and, and this sounds crazy because it sounded crazy to me when they said it. They said um, they approached some homeless people about giving them a place to sleep, and they were like, no, nah, I'm good. And they was like, they were, they were going to put them up in a hotel. And they was like, no, I'm good. Like, we don't, I don't need to go to no hotel. So I don't even know what that means. Like, is that a problem mentally? Or I don't know what that means. But anyway, we have a homeless problem here in Gwinnett. All right, heads up, heads up, Grizzlies. Heads up, Grizzlies. The construction on Collin Hills Road is underway. Over the course of the next few months, the road will be widened and a path for pedestrians will be installed with the purpose of easing traffic congestion around the campus. So keep an eye out for new lanes soon. So GGC, watch out. There's going to be a lot of construction. So also be mindful if you have to go to work. If you take, if you travel that way and you know you got to go to work, make sure that you know that it's going to be construction. So don't get caught up in the construction, okay? I know somebody's going to miss that. And they're going to get caught up. I'm like, oh, my God. It's going to be construction for the next few months. So keep that in mind, all right? I don't want to go to a song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of what's happening in and around Gwinnett County. So stay tuned. One, two, three. Love should be easy. Why should it not? When all you want is to be loved, is to be loved. But love ain't easy. You taught me that. I let you in, now you are out, now you are out. I don't understand why you hurt me. I don't understand why you wanna let me down. Can't understand. Was it all worth it? You play me good just for. Just for 
that show. Listen, it's going to be cold. So I gave you all the warming station information. So be sure to check it out. I want to give a shout out to uh, congratulate Major Casey for, for 25 years of dedicated service to the Gwinnett County Sheriff's Office. Yes, thank you for your service. Um, yeah, yeah, 25 years, y'all, 25 years. Um, congratulations. You know, when people stay in jobs that long, they must really like it. Because I never had a job. I, I stayed, the longest I've stayed in one job was eight and a half years. And when I left that job, it was a wrap. So congratulations, uh, Officer Casey, Sergeant Casey, Deputy Casey. Yeah, I had to, I had to let it go. Listen, I had to let it go. When that happened, man, I was like, I'm done. Yeah, I get it. I know what people are saying, but yeah, I had to, I had to let it go. Like it was, a, it was a wrap for me. I'm not, I'm not good at that. Listen, you know, it's t it's that time again. It's election time, and whoo, child. I know it's going to be something serious. I know it's going to be something serious. Um, Say uh, there's a news story that says um, how judges redistricting ruling could reshape Georgia's 2024 votes. Yeah. Even, po even before a federal judge tossed out Georgia's political maps, Democrats are jock were jockeying for what they expected would be a bounty of newly competitive seats in Atlanta suburbs. Now the political maneuvering is set to kick into gear, to kick into new gear. U.S. District Judge Steve Jones didn't surprise any many under the gold dome when he issued an order rejecting the maps because they illegally diluted black voting power, particularly since federal uh, courts have already rejected other maps in deep south states under the same guidelines. So, ooh, child, you know these political parties... Man, when it comes to, you know, you know what's crazy though, and I try not to talk about politics too much on this show because I just, I feel like politics and religion is just too, I don't know, controversial. But it's sad how people, what people would do to retain power over people. Like you want to restrict people's vote because they may not vote for you because they don't believe in what you're doing. So you're gonna take the vote away. That is, that's crazy, but that's the world we live in. That is the world we live in. I'm telling y'all for me and my mindset, the only way to get, to get around stuff like this, cause it's to be able to have some power that you actually control. Like we don't control politics. I heard somebody talk about president Obama when he was in office and a lot of black people were mad at him because they felt like he didn't do, he didn't do enough for black folk. Right. And the guy was saying, what people don't know is that seat has already been set. Like he can only do so much and the people, the president, the only president that went in and did what he wanted to do was the last one. He didn't care what nobody said. He did what he wanted to do and in, including causing insurrection. He did what he wanted. Our president tried to follow all the rules. And so black folks are mad. A lot of black people are mad at him because they feel like he didn't do enough for the black community. But there was someone who said some really powerful information. They said when a president goes into the white house, they pretty much just go into a seat that's already ready for them to go into the, with, with rules and regulations attached, right? So there are certain things that they can do, and there are certain things that they're never going to be able to do, ever. Now, I, I, I tend to differ on that, that thought process right now because I'm looking at the last one who did whatever the heck he wanted to do. So if you play by the rules, you can only do what they say you can do. If you don't play by the rules, you do what you want to do. He was a man of integrity. So he played by the rules. So his hands were tied on many issues. And, and a lot of people don't understand that. I, I believe that. I believe that his hands were tied on, on many issues, you know. And so um, he there were only certain things he could do. I really believe that. So anyway, I said all that to say, it's going to be an election season with all kinds of nonsense going on. Here's what I, here's my problem with all of this stuff, right? My problem with all of this is that people take these things so personal and then they start doing crazy things like attacking folks, you know, doing stuff like that. Like for me, when you have a, when you're in a position of power and you spew stuff, information that's going to cause divis divisiveness, I hope I'm saying that right, between our country, it makes us weak. So we're not a strong country when we're fighting each other. I don't care what anybody says. When we're in here fighting each other, it makes us weak. And I always say this. I feel like the outside world, especially the people that hate us, they're watching us. They want us to tear down the United States so they can swoop in and own us. I'm just saying. And we're over here fighting tooth and nail against each other. And they're just watching us, make, watching us get weaker and weaker 
and weaker, watching us implode from the inside. So when they when it's time for them to drop a bomb on us, they can't. I know that sounds dire, and I hardly ever talk about this stuff, but that's what I believe. Because I, I see these people that it's like, okay, you ever see like I watch sometimes I watch the the, the um, National Geographic channel, right? And you will see a lion or a tiger, and they see they see their prey, and they take two little steps, they inch and closer and closer, very quietly, very quietly, until they get right up on them, and then they got them. Because you know why? The prey is not paying attention, right? So while the tiger is inching closer and closer, making his making his way closer and closer, because in a second they're gonna attack. That we're the prey right now, and the outside world, especially people that hate us, they're watching us implode from the inside. Because we can't get on the same page when it comes to politics and the people we put in high positions. We can't get on the same page. We got crazy people saying crazy stuff. And I want to say some, some other stuff, but this is, I try to keep it family. Saying crazy stuff, right, that, that, that spewed all over the place and caused these people, these other people that are lunatic, they already got some mental things going on. Now they want to just go and do crazy stuff. So, you know, I just pray that this election season is... That we can manage it, that's all. That's all I can say. Something tells me it's not going to happen. By the way it looks at things right now, it's just going to be more stuff. And we're just getting weaker and weaker as a country. And the lion is just sitting there, moving closer and closer. As a matter of fact, we got two lions. Maybe three at this point. I, now I'm thinking it's three because I've heard a third one. One of them I had never heard of. And here recently, there's a third lion. So it's three lions from the, from the west just waiting to pounce on us. And they're going to, you know, unfortunately, if we don't get our stuff together and we don't come together, well, I'm going to Africa. That's where I'm going. I'm just saying. People can say what they want to say. That's where I'm, that's what, listen, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, Friday, mulch, free free mulch Friday pickup days. Yes, it's going to end on November 3rd. So if you got some mulch in your yard that you need to get picked up, I need to be, yeah, pick up. Be sure to pick up mulch. No, if you need to pick up some mulch, you can pick up mulch this coming Friday, but this Friday is the last Friday. The service will resume again in March. So if you want to get your yard off, I need to tell my husband that. We need to go pick up some of that mulch. Yep, you can pick up free mulch. Um, This Friday is the last day from 7.30 to 3.30 p.m. Located at 40, 460 Paper Mill Road in Lawrenceville. So if you need free mulch, and I need to tell them that we need to get some and put in. Because here's the thing. Our subdivision gave us a warning. They said your yard is messed up. I was like, I know y'all lying. My yard is not messed up. My husband get out there and cut the yard every every two weeks with, with a rotting lawnmower. I know y'all lying. They was like, no, it means it's something. I'm like, what? Okay, how about the mulch was not red? Okay, so it was, it was mulch in the yard. It was brown like the ground, but it wasn't fresh mulch that was red. And I'm like, I know y'all lying. Yeah, they was about to give me a citation. I was like, I know, because my husband cuts that grass and keep our yard looking great. They said we the yard was not cut. I was like, they lying. So I took a picture, like, what's wrong with the yard? It, and let me tell y'all this. It was, a, it was a patch of mulch around the tree that's in my front yard that was brown like the tree. I'm thinking, you got to be kidding me. So the the mulch couldn't be brown like the tree. It had to be red like the fresh mulch. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So anyway, if you need some mulch, especially if you live in one of these picky uh, neighborhoods, that's the one thing I don't like about Georgia. And it's, it's not many, but that's one of them. Is the, And I get why they are important, right? The, the housing associations. I get that. I think my problem with that is having to have people tell me how to, what to do in my own house. That's a problem for me. That's a problem for me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that's a problem for me. And maybe and I get why they do it because you want to make sure that people take care of their property. It looks nice, but yeah. And, and I get it because a lot of people don't have pride. They don't have pride in ish. I want to say something else, but this is a family show. Go pick your mulch up. I don't want you to get a citation like me. I'm just saying, don't be, listen, they will get you. If you're down here in Georgia, you live in a decent association they will come and you will get a citation <laughs> just trying to help somebody out save you some trouble yep um the Gwinnett police com- uh, community meeting is happening tomorrow at 6 30 p.m so if you want to go out there the Gwinnett police department invites you to a q a um with the police chief jd mcclure and members of his command staff to discuss concerns over at universal church 
Um, this event is an opportunity to strengthen communication with the police department and to take and to make your voice heard to build a safer and more engaged community. For more information, you can contact Community Affairs Section at PD Community Affairs at GwinnettCounty.com. P is in Peter, D is in David, Community Affairs at GwinnettCounty.com. So that's going to be happening tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. Um, it's going to be at 6081 Singleton Road, Northwest in Norcross. Again, tomorrow, if you want to go out, you want to meet the police officers, you want to have a conversation, you want to have some engagement with your law enforcement, this is an opportunity for you to do that. Tomorrow at 630, it's going to be located at 6081 uh, Singleton Road, Northwest, and that's in Norcross, right? That's Universal Church. So this is your opportunity. Again, 6081 Singleton Road, Northwest, Norcross, Georgia, 6.30 p.m. tomorrow. Check it out. All right? All right. I know somebody's saying whatever, Audrey. Um, what else am I looking for? Hey, listen. Blippi is coming. Blippi is on tour. All right. If y'all don't know who Blippi is, Blippi is on tour, and he's coming to Gas South. Blippi is his man. He's on, like, Netflix or something because I've seen Blippi so many times. My baby loves Blippi. Blippi is on tour. They got some free tickets. And if you want your free tickets, you got to get them now. Yep. You can go to go to Gas South for more information. Yep. The giveaway is going to end Sunday, this coming Sunday. I need to get my baby some tickets. Giveaway is going to end this coming Sunday, November the 5th at 11.59 p.m. Blippi is going to be here March the 12th in Duluth at Gas South. But they're giving away free tickets right now. So if you need some free tickets to go see Blippi, Go on over to Gas South and get the tickets. All right? Get the tickets. They will stop giving away tickets November the 5th at 11.59 p.m. All right? All right. Blippi. So you got a kid, they probably know who Blippi is. If you don't know who Blippi is, the children probably know. I certainly know. All right, again, tomorrow, 8.30 a.m., Meals Over Money Breakfast. We're going to be hosting. This is brought to you by the Gwinnett Women's Chamber of Commerce. We do this once a month. For those of you who don't know, I am the president of the Gwinnett Women's Chamber of Commerce. We do this event once a month. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about, uh, our speaker is going to be talking about Retire Like a Boss, Unleash the Power of your 401k, Accept in a Simple IRA. If you are a small business owner, a real owner, and at some point you may think that you might want to retire or have some kind of money coming in on a regular basis, even so you can just do your business because you may not want to work as hard. You may now I can't see myself not being an entrepreneur, but I may not want to work as hard. So I want to set myself up an annuity, a 401k or IRA or something like that, so that I can work a little bit and still have money coming in from the from the investments that I've made while I've while while I was been working while I've been a full time entrepreneur. So if you are a now here's the thing. Full-time entrepreneur, not somebody who sell here, sell there. You don't, you want to invest in yourself because you're not a business owner. You don't spend any money on yourself. You're, you're not. You got a hobby and you make a few dollars. I'm talking about the person that said, you know what? At some point, I may not want to do this full-time. I can't really see myself not being an entrepreneur, but some people may just want to retire from entrepreneur and travel the world. I'm not a traveler like that. I got about four or five places I want to visit. I, hopefully, that doesn't take me a lifetime to get there. So I probably will be an entrepreneur till they put me in the box. That being said, I want to retire like a boss. I don't want to retire on twelve hundred dollars a month, and now I got to go live with my daughter. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying. So this is an opportunity for you to actually come out, get the information that you need, so you can make informed decisions on how to set yourself up so you can retire like a boss. If you are an entrepreneur, you should be in the room. Now that being said, if you want to see at that table because that event sells out. If you, and it's only $5. So if you want a seat at that table, you should be on time. And, for, and on time, I mean 8 o'clock. It starts at 8.30. So if you want to be a, at the, now you can sit around the room. The room is, get filled up. You can sit, you're going to be sitting on the wall like most people do when they come late. The people at the table get to eat breakfast and hear great information and interact with the speaker. So Carolyn Shoemate is our speaker. She's a financial advisor and she's going to be talking to you about how to retire like a boss. Okay. All right. That's tomorrow at 8.30. We're going to be at the 1818 Club located at 6500 Sugarloaf Parkway. To register for this event, go to GwinnettWomensChamber.com. GwinnettWomensChamber.com. Click on the Events tab, and you'll see the events there. All right, Glitz Glamour Pearls Fundraising Gala. That's happening this weekend. So, um, sponsored by... I'm sorry, y'all. 
Um, sponsored by Gwinnett Pearls of Service Foundation, hosted by the AKA Sorority Incorporated Upsilon Omega Chapter Glitz Glamour Pearls Fundraising Gala. It's going to be November the 4th. Um, it's a hundred dollars per person to attend this event. It's going down. It's black tie. So, you know, the AKA is pink and green. So it's a pink and green affair. So check it out for more information about how to register for this event. It's going to be at Tommy, Tommy Hughes. It's going to be a gas South district, Tommy Hughes ballroom, 6400 Sugarloaf Parkway. And that's going to be happening this Saturday at four at uh, 7 PM down there. If you want to register, go to Upsilon Alpha Omega.com Upsilon Alpha Omega.com upsilon alpha omega.com for the aka event all right if you want to support they do a lot of good work in Gwinnett county i see them all over the place doing great things so that's amazing all right if you want something to do tomorrow um at gas a uh, downtown the, uh, it's happening in the dtl in lawrenceville the lawrenceville festival is happening tomorrow i mean not tomorrow saturday saturday november the 4th 12 30 you got the band lula then you got Siren, then you got them vibes, and then you got Hannah Dasher. So the Harvest the Harvest Festival is going down. It's going down. Fun and games for the kids, trackless training, farmers market, vendors, and more. It's happening this Saturday. So put that on your calendar. Downtown Lawrenceville. Lawrenceville on the lawn. It's going down in the DTL. All right? All right. Whew, I feel like I've been saying a lot. All right, that's all I got for y'all today. I'm going to go to my last song. Then I'm going to come back and give you my words of inspiration for the day so stay tuned i'll be right back Try search inside 
pink Cause who knew that at the brink of the end Life would begin again Sounds like a Disney song. Anyway, welcome back, y'all. Listen, I gotta go. That's all I got for you today. But before I go, I want to give you my word of um, my words of, of, of in, in, blah 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 inspir- inspiration, inspiration. Okay, here goes. It says, "Think positive. You will never lose because positivity always wins. Think positive. You will never lose because positivity always wins." Um, some people don't believe that. They think people, people, people that know me, I try to be positive. I'm not always positive because I'm human, you know, but for the most part, I try to stay on the side of positive because I believe that positive always wins. I believe that when you have a positive mindset about things, you can pretty much overcome everything, you know, because you can look and look at things of on the bet on the brighter side of things. Like if you're the person and all you want to do is find fault with everything and everybody and look at the the sad, the, the bad side of everything, that's that's terrible. That's terrible. But if you're not that person, you know, just think positive, and positive will win. But you got to think it first. You got to think positive, act positive, be positive. Positivity will win. That's all I got for you today. You could have been anywhere in the world, but spend the last 58 minutes with me, and I love and appreciate you for that. If you miss any episodes of this show, be sure to go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen to past episodes there. Also, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Yes, I'm on LinkedIn now at Good Morning Gwinnett. I'm excited about that. Every time I say that about LinkedIn, you know how long it's taking me to get on LinkedIn under Good Morning Gwinnett? Five years. Yep, five years. Because I've been doing this show five years, and I've never had it listed as my my primary target on Good Morning Gwinnett, but it is now. I mean, on LinkedIn, but it is now. So connect with me on all my social media platforms. Do me a favor. Download the show from your app store. So if you got an Android phone or Apple phone, it comes with a pre-installed podcast app on your phone, Google Podcasts and Apple Podcasts. Go to your search engine inside the app and look for Good Morning Gwinnett and download the app from the phone. This way you never miss an episode of the show because it pops right up on your phone that a new episode is about to begin. All right. If you miss any episodes, go to goodmorninggwinnett.com and also check out some of the great articles I have on the site. Thank you again for listening. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. God willing. You guys stay safe out there. Stay warm because it's cold. And until next time, my friends, until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.